Hi everyone, I'm back again with another video and today is a very exciting video. The reason why I'm saying it's an exciting video is because the weather is changing and a lot of people, a lot of people has, you know, have asked me that, you know, what should we do? Because I mentioned in my last video that you should change your skincare according to the changing weather. So I thought that, um, you know, it's not very feasible for everybody to go ahead and change the entire vanity and change the entire skincare. So I think there should be some hacks that you, you know, they're helpful for the changing weather. So yes, today what I'm going to talk about is some hacks that come in handy throughout. They help in, you know, help you in summers also. And they also, with a little bit of communication, will prove to be very beneficial for you in winters. So yes, let's, without wasting any further time, jump into the video. So the very first thing that I'm going to talk about today is moisturizer. I have really, really dry skin, okay? I have a skin like Thar Desert. It's super dry. It's flaky. So I tried almost all sort of moisturizers, but nothing worked. You know, nothing actually seemed to work for me anyhow. So what I've been using these days now, I have actually switched to a different moisturizer. This will be available for you on all the chemists because it's easily available. It's a medicated moisturizer. And anybody with uh, a little bit of dryness on their face can definitely use it. However, I use this one. This is called Epi Aqua Soft, actually. I'm, I was supposed to say Epi Soft. Uh, this is called Aqua Soft. And I'll just quickly tell you if I can see the price of this particular product. Um, it's not mentioned here, but I'm going to link the price of this in the bottom bar. So you guys can check that out. And this says that it has 15% glycerin, which has the capacity to hold water and moisture from the environment into your skin so glycerin works really really fine uh, if you're somebody who's of a dry skin type if you apply glycerin on your face you will see that it holds moisture but there has been a complaint that when you apply glycerin it feels sticky and it feels really sweaty on your skin that is the reason why i would prefer this over applying glycerin on my skin this will deeply nourish your skin and it will soften your skin. So what I do generally is I apply it at night, uh, you know, when, when it's time for my skin to heal and to repair. And the next morning when I get up now these days, I make sure that, you know, I, I just look into the mirror and it's really soft and supple. I do not have flaky skin. I do not have dry patches on my skin, which is wonderful. So this is what has worked for me. However, um, I understand that the weather will be getting... Uh, really cold in the coming days and uh, this will lead to more dryness so what I can suggest you here is just take this take a drop oops dropped a lot of it like I took this much okay and what you can do is you can add any cold pressed oil any essential oil on your you know in your particular product in this moisturizer so what I'm using today is this Nika rose hip I just took it you can see the moisturizer is dripping yes so I just need to add two to three drops of this. I'll just quickly show it to you. So yes, this is how it looks like and it's really runny. I need to rub it and wash and apply it on your face. I'm applying it on my hands because I already have makeup. I don't want to spoil that. So yes, you apply it on your skin. The reason why I mixed two of these products is not only the, pro the moisturizer will moisturize your skin, but also the oil that you've added, the essential oil that you've added will act as a barrier for any moisture to be lost. So it is said that, you know, when you apply any sort of skincare, you should make sure that the first layer should be the lightest and the last layer should be the thickest of all. That is the reason why we apply the lightest and the thickest together, mixing them. However, it will not, it will not, um, you know, it will make sure that, you know, any moisture that you have on your skin does not evaporate into the environment. Now, this works really well. If you're somebody who's of dry skin types, please try this hack. It's going to work wonders for you. Next on my list is, you know, we've, we've taken care of uh, our face. Next is, of course, the very beautiful lips that we talk about so yes i've already shared my review on this particular you know lip balm it's one of my favorites if you haven't watched that video i'm going to link it somewhere on the top and you guys can go ahead and check that video also so it's very crucial for us to go ahead and apply lip balm right in the changing weather in fact i think throughout the year we, we make sure that we do apply lip balms but how many of you know that there's a way to keep them moisturized really really well throughout the night also so um, 
we a lot of us have complaints that you know we do apply a lot of lip balm still my lips are really cracked and chapped and they're really dry what to do for that so all you need to do is you need to take this magical product it's called borolin okay it's been there you know ever since i think i was a child and i've seen this product work wonders since then so what you need to do with this particular product is you need to take this particular product and just this much i think this would be fine all you need to do is you need to apply it on your lips a thick layer of it on your lips and go off to sleep yes yes you heard it right you do not have to wipe them you do not have to uh massage them on your lips no nothing of that sort just apply wash your face uh, wet your lips pat dry and then apply a thick layer of this on your lips okay like a mask like a sleeping mask for your lips and what you need to do is the next morning when you get up you need to take a towel something that's not very rough on your skin you take a towel wet it and then rub your lips exfoliate your lips with that towel what this will do is the borolin will soften the you know the top layer of the dead skin throughout the night will heal and moisturize the the the, the layer below that the actual layer of your skin and the moment you exfoliate your skin your fresh moisturized happy skin will be on the top of your lips and the dead skin will rub off so that's what will work wonders for you try it every twice thrice um you know uh, in a week every third day in a week and this will work wonders for you you will realize that the dead skin and the chap lip problem that you have of course you will have to apply lip balm because there's nothing called as a one shot trick to you know get perfect lips you will have to work towards it and uh, you will have to apply lip balm but this will make sure that the entire dead skin that you have on your lips which you feel that only exfoliating uh, uh, scrubs can help you with will wave off and then you will have a nice plum moisturized skin to be happy with okay so that's my next hack uh coming back to cheeks very important um what we all do is that you know when we apply makeup and we want to you know apply a little bit of blush for that gush of color on our cheeks cheeks but cheeks cheeks so what we do is we apply powder blushes and because obviously we have dry skin we forget that this is going to cling to our dry patches anywhere that we have and that would that doesn't look really nice you know on your lips on your cheeks so what we have to do here is you just have to take you just have to take this beautiful lip balm that i was talking about or any pigmented lip balm which is more of a reddish or a pinkish tone or orange tone depending upon your skin tone and all you need to do is you just need to take this let me just go into the look into the camera so that i know where i'm putting my blush you just need to take this and spread it you see what i did not only this will uh, make sure that you have a moisturized layer you have a nice sheen to your cheeks but it will also give you a gush of color and this will look this looks really pretty and really natural so i'm going to apply the same here because i don't want one only one of my cheeks to look all pretty so yes that's what you do let me just quickly pull it back and that's what we do okay blend a little bit perfect so as you guys can see i have this nice sheen on my cheeks because of the moisturizing property and the the vaseline in that probably all the lip balms have i have this nice sheen on my skin also i have this color which looks really pretty and um the best part is that because it's a dry season coming up it does not cling to my pores or it does not highlight the flakiness that i have on my skin so this works really fine any powder product used in this particular season or any changing season will definitely make sure that you know your dry patches are highlighted so i would advise you to use cream products cream products work really well with this kind of a changing weather so if you're switching to a colder weather i would prefer and i would suggest that you use only cream based products okay next that we have on our list is our beautiful nails i do not have really long nails uh they don't really grow much however what i like to do every single night is make sure that i take 
any essential oil and I just drop these kind of drops on my fingernails and massage them. Do you know the very first sign of aging develops under your eyes, on your neck and on your hands. So not only your face or your neck needs care but also your nails need a lot of care because in winters you, you must have noticed you know there there's a lot of flakiness here around your nails around your cuticles and they start peeling and it hurts it really really hurts so i think this is something that needs to be taken care of just like your face when you wash your face and you take care of your skin uh, all together make sure that you spend one more minute and take care of your nails too they work really well and you will notice that even in this kind of a weather where you know your skin is really dry and chapped you will still have soft hands beautiful soft hands and this also helps in nail growth although uh, my nails they don't really grow after a certain length but yeah i've noticed that my cuticles are softer my nails are softer and it makes my hand really soft so for happy hands make sure you do that every single night next on our list um we all have, you know, we all apply body lotions and, uh, uh, you know, moisturizers or a body butter after we take a shower. But how many of you know that, you know, even if you apply body butter on your skin, if your skin is completely dry and then you apply it, it does not soak any moisture into the skin. It does not help. So what you need to do is any moisturizer that you apply, make sure whenever you apply the moisturizer or body butter or body balm, on your skin, it is a little damp. Your skin is damp enough to soak the moisture and hold the moisture in your skin. Do not forget that just like your face, your body also needs moisture. So you have to apply any essential oil. What is happening today? Any essential oil in your body butter, mix it through and then apply it. So I'll just quickly show you how this worked, okay? Did you see I've already applied uh, the cream my this moisturizer aqua soft with essential oil and can you see it's still shiny it's it feels soft it feels nourished and this works really well so if you're somebody who has a dry skin type please do a, go ahead and apply you know this particular trick or hack into your skincare and this will work wonders for you it will help and i'm sure that you'll come back and you'll tell me that Seema, it did work next and final on my list for today is hair care so yes, we've taken care of the body, we've taken care of the skin, but what about hair? So what you need to do is, please do not apply any cold oil on your skin, on your scalp. I know that it's it's a very um, huge task to go ahead and warm the oil and apply. But trust me, your skin and your hair needs time to be taken care of. So every time you apply any sort of oil on your scalp, I know even I miss out on sometimes, but this is what should be done. Whenever you apply any sort of oil on your scalp or you oil your hair, make sure that the oil is a little bit warm, to, you know, and then you apply it. Because when you, when you heat the oil a little bit and it's warm enough, it spreads easily and it, you know, gets soaked up on in your scalp really well. And that is what nourishes your scalp. So it's, if you apply, let's say, a normal oil, definitely it will still work. However, it won't work to its full efficiency. Okay, the scalp will not benefit out of it properly. It will stay there on the top layer, will work whatever it can, and then you wash it off the next day or probably after a few hours. But if you heat the oil a little bit, the warm oil is applied on your scalp, you know, your scalp is able to soak it. The, quant the density of the oil thins out a little bit, and then it's easy for the scalp to soak the benefits of the particular oil easily. So please make sure that every time you oil your scalp, heat the oil a little bit. Take out five minutes for yourself and do these things so that your body and your skin can benefit to the most, you know, um, on in this entire range. So yeah, that's all that I had, um, you know, to share with you for the coming season. If I have any more um, tips and tricks, I'll definitely share with you in the next video. If you've used any of these tricks already, Please let me know how they worked for you, especially the warm oil thing. And um, yeah, if you have any suggestions, you need you know, already know that you need to input them in the comments box below. 
and if you're new to my channel please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that every time i upload a video you guys get to know about that till then you guys take care stay blessed bye